Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Paste Special is a tool that Excel provides to you that allows you to cut or copy information and then paste only certain elements of the original selection to a new location. For example, you could copy a cell and then select to paste only its value or only its formatting. You can also copy and paste values from cells and perform mathematical operations as you paste the values to new cell locations, choosing to add, subtract, or multiply them with the values that already exist in the destination cells. By default in Excel, information is exclusive to individual worksheets. This means that if you copy data from one worksheet and paste it into another worksheet, any changes that you make to the original data will not be automatically reflected in the worksheet to which you have pasted a copy of the data. Paste Special fixes this by allowing you to paste a link between the two cells so that when the original data is changed in the original worksheet, the new value will be passed to the linked cells in the second worksheet the next time that it is opened. Using this feature also allows you to paste linked data cells between two completely separate workbooks. To use the Paste Special function, you begin by copying a cell as usual. Then select the destination cell. Now, however, instead of directly clicking the Paste button within the Clipboard button group on the Home tab in the ribbon, you will instead click the Paste button's drop-down arrow. At the top of the drop-down menu that appears, you can see different options that you have for selecting what elements of the copied element you want to paste to the new location. You could also just click the Paste Special command at the bottom of the drop-down menu to launch the Paste Special dialog box. In the Paste Special dialog box, you select the option button that represents what aspect of the copied element you wish to paste in the Paste section at the top of the dialog box. Note that if you select the Values option, you can then also choose a mathematical operation from the Operation section to perform between the value that you're pasting and the value that currently exists in the destination cell. Once you've made your selections, click the OK button to paste your special content. When you invoke the Paste Special dialog box, you have several options as to what elements of the copied cells you wish to paste. Let's take a moment to examine what options are available when using the Paste Special dialog box. In the Paste section at the top of the dialog box, you can select All to paste everything that you copied. This is the same thing as simply choosing the Paste button within the Clipboard button group. You can select formulas to paste formulas only. This is also the default behavior of a formula when you normally copy and paste it, so it's rare to choose this option. Selecting values copies the current values displayed in the cell or cells that you copied. This is useful for copying and pasting the displayed values from formula cells. Also, you sometimes want to paste the value of one cell that you've copied onto the value displayed in another cell while performing a mathematical function between the two values. So if you select the values option and then select a de destination cell into which to paste the copied value that has a pre-existing value in it, you can then select a mathematical operation to perform between the two values within the operation section. You can choose none to simply overwrite the destination cell's values with the copied value or you can select Add, Subtract, Multiply, or Divide to perform those calculations on the two values as well. Now back in the Paste section at the top of the Paste Special dialog box, you can also select to paste formats of the copied cells. This pastes only the formatting of the copied cells and will perform the same function that the Format Painter button performs. 
You can select the comments option to copy cell comments from one cell to another cell. Or you can select the validation option to copy cell validation rules from one cell to another cell. You can select all using source theme to paste all of the cell's contents in the document theme formatting that is applied to the copied cells. If you select all except borders, you will paste all of the copied cell's contents and formatting except for the borders. If you select column widths, you will paste the copied cell's column width onto the selected cell's column. You can select formulas and number formats to paste only the cell formulas and number formatting. You can select values and number formats to paste only the cell values and the number formatting to the destination cells. Starting in Excel 2010, you can select all merging conditional formats to copy conditional formatting and merge it with existing conditional formatting in the destination cell or cells. You can check the Skip Blanks checkbox to not replace cell data in the destination cells where there were blank values within the copied cells. Checking the Transpose checkbox will switch the data in the columns to data that will now display across rows, and vice versa. Once again, after selecting your options, you click the OK button to paste the copied data elements. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.